Hello Comets. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Pullen Bod and I'm with the Office of Information Technology in the Client Services Group. And today I'm really excited to talk to you about equipment selection for hybrid meetings. We've heard the term hybrid meetings a lot and today what we're going to explore is really how you go about figuring out what you need to make sure that you're successful in including the people that are working remote as well as the people that are in person on campus um, in different types of meetings. So when we really talk about hybrid meetings, what we're really looking for is how can we make the experience that's happening in person similar to what's happening online. And to do that, we have several applications like Microsoft Teams and hardware that we partnered up with like the Poly Studio X50 and others that we'll be talking about today to help you along the journey. Now, hybrid meeting is not as complicated as it sounds. There's actually quite a few things you can do to enable hybrid meeting. You can have a really expensive, crazy solution in a really large conference room or auditorium. Or if you're just in front of your laptop, you can have a hybrid meeting just using the webcam, the headset, and, and your computer. So let's get started. So like I said, we're gonna talk about what to consider, the hardware, and the steps for purchasing. I don't have a whole lot to demo in this video, but I am gonna show you different pictures and different uh, images to kind of help you along the way. The first thing I'll tell you is it's all about the experience. What are you trying to achieve? Next, it's about your conference room or your meeting space or your huddle room or whatever that space is that you wanna turn into a hybrid meeting space. So let's say you have an open you know, area in your, in your department um, and you wanna turn that into a hybrid room. What would you do there? Maybe add a TV, a camera. It's gonna be loud, so you kinda wanna take, uh, consider those things. It might be just a few people standing around. Maybe there's some couches. That can be a hybrid meeting option. You can also consider a conference room that you already have that may have a TV already in it, uh, you know, a really large TV. And you may have used it previously using HDMI cables and different things to screencast your whatever's on your computer on to the projector. The problem with that is that people that are remote won't be able to see that. So the simple solution to that is we'll join a Microsoft Teams meeting. And what you can do is actually share your, share your screen with the people that are remote and still use the HDMI cable and the projector or the TV to cast to the people in the room. Now, we can take that one step further, and what we can do is actually take that TV that you already have in that conference room um, and add something called a Poly Studio X50, which is great for small rooms or medium rooms. Um, I would say probably rooms that handle about 10 people to 15 people, it's a really good option for. Um, and really what you can do with that is that the computer itself is built into this video bar and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if we look at this image right here, there's two TVs mounted. Now you don't have to have two, you can just have one. And then this right here is the Poly Studio X50. So the X50 has a, um, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, it's got a camera, 4K camera built in, two speakers and two microphones. And what you can do on the back end is connect that to two, t two monitors, up to two monitors, and one side can have all the video from the people um, remote. And on the other side, you could actually have the presentation that you're sharing like they've done in this example. But really what we're talking about here is, um, it, it is the experience that we, we were considering, right? So the experience with this is that you walk into a room and when you can you say hey i want to join my meeting so you're sitting in one of these chairs you turn open up your laptop and you join a teams meeting and it's going to look a little bit similar to this right this is you guys are all used to seeing this screen where it says hey do you want to turn your camera on or off this is what happens right before a meeting well if this is a teams uh, room um if this is a teams enabled room then what it really does is it says hey we found a device nearby um, called Rock, and this this is what we did in OIT. So it's a Rock Guadalupe conference room. Do you want to join the equipment in that? And as soon as you hit, you know, as as soon as you select that and hit Join Now, what it does is it automatically turns the meeting on. It joins the meeting participants. It 
starts a video and the speaker phones and the audio uh, and the microphones on the X50 and there's not a whole lot for you to do. As long as the monitor the TV, or the TV or the projector is on, everything else just kind of works. We've tried this, tested it, and it works really, really well. Um, and the way we control it um, is, and I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the TV side too. So this was again the Rock Guadalupe conference room. So it's got a nice little clean little dashboard. You can do a whole lot more with this, but just as it pertains to hybrid meeting, your your conference room, uh, your conference meetings will show up over here on the side. You can make impromptu calls, but you know honestly, you don't have to do any of those as long as you from your laptop. Again, you're not touching anything, any of the device in the conference room, but from your laptop, you check that and hit join now. And as soon as you do that, it will automatically join. So going back to the example that we were taking a look at over here um, with, the, with these people, there's people sitting in this conference room. They're actually using what's called a touch panel to control everything. Uh, and typically in all of our conference rooms, we have the star phones. So you, we can, instead of using this, we can actually use what's already built in. The X50 can cost you, um, you know, if, if you're a uh, retail is a little bit different than um, than what we pay for edu with education pricing, and I'm not gonna uh, put the dollar amount here just because this is gonna be on YouTube. But you can go to e procurement and take a look at how much it costs. But again, this is an X50. It's a really nifty device. They are coming out with newer uh, newer versions of that. So um, as they come out, we'll be definitely giving getting you more information about that. There's other hardware equipments that we can talk about as well. These are all the conference room solutions that, that are available. Um, there's a G40 over here. This, this guy right here, it's just uh, the video bar itself is just called the studio. And it's, it's, there's no brains behind it. There's no computer behind it. It's just like uh, it, it has a cable that kind of comes out of it that you connect to your laptop. And it's just like if you, you're using like a webcam on your desktop monitor. Uh, and an external microphone. It works just like that, except a whole lot better in terms of quality. So there's that guy. Uh, sorry, there's, there's a studio. They're just using this in a system. There's also a G85T, which has the Eagle Eye Director 2 cameras. Uh, the cool thing about those is that you can put, again, put them on top of your TV. One camera is always looking out. The other camera is tracking around and it, it moves around. So it, it attracts kind of people as they uh, come around. So that's actually really neat and it works um, uh, uh, in, in theory. I've seen it work really well. We, we're still in the process of actually implementing that. Um, and those are really the conference room options that we have. We can talk about more of this in detail if you need, just uh, reach out to the help desk and they'll get you in touch with us. Um, for personal devices or even small, really small media rooms uh, or huddle room type situations, you can use something like this Poly Studio P15. These are the P series. Whenever you see a P, that indicates it's a personal device. Um, so it's in intended really for one person. However, with this, uh, I mean, if you're two or three people kind of sitting in a, uh, you know, small space, this is a great option for that. Again, it has an excellent camera, microphone and speaker array. Uh, they also have the Studio P21, which is just an all-in-one solution monitor, everything. It's tiny, but it, it's great, again, for really small spaces. You can just put that guy there, connect it using the network cable, and, and you, you kind of get to go. Um, all, these, all this equipment will require, except for the Studio, so the X50, that's right here, uh, Eagle Eye Director, all of those things are going to require network and power. So, um, you know, that's kind of what we're going to talk about next. So now that you know what kind of equipment you want, um, what do you do? So the steps of purchasing, as I said, it's really going into e-procurement and um, looking for a company called Cloud Ingenuity within e-procurement. And you'll be able to see all these options there. So what do you do to get all this done? Well, first, you Got to consider your space that we kind of talked about. Look at your layout of your conference tables, different things like that. Then you got to pick the hardware, uh, which we just talked about. After you pick the hardware, you buy it uh, using e-procurement. <laughs> we just talked about that. So after you get your device in, you would you will need to call the help desk and we'll need to assign a Teams room license. The, that really cool feature I showed you earlier where, you, you know, you just turn on your computer and it automatically finds this, that's using a Teams room license and we can help you get that. So you reach out to the help desk and we'll get you, uh, uh, get you squared away with that. 
So once you get the Teams Room license, we'll have to apply that license to that device. So if you have a local IT technician, we'll work with them to do that. Otherwise, we'll, if we're your IT technicians in OIT, then we'll do that for you. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, process and after that it's just a matter of getting it mounted um, typically how you do that is by contacting media services or facilities or whoever um, and, and and installing all the equipment um, and if just remember if you don't have a network cable or a power source available where you want to mount this stuff um, you're going to need to call uh, facilities or the network team to get that done as well so that's really in a nutshell what we were wanted, I wanted to share with you today um, how I know it's fast I know it's a lot but um, I'm happy to walk you through it more. We have, we're, we're getting more and more trained on this. Um, but remember, you can do hybrid meetings by just simply having a laptop in front of you and joining a Teams meeting. Thank you so much for joining me. We have so many other excellent videos in this series. I hope you watch them too. Take care.